Hello yet again my fellow life forms and welcome back to another vlog. It has been a while since I have posted a vlog because of school and how busy I've been lately so please forgive me on that. I would like to apologize for my last video because I got some of the information wrong about the little blue dragon mollusk thing. Apparently that little creature was discovered back in the 1700s so I was very wrong. I just want to say I'm sorry and I will do my best not to let that happen again. So these past few weeks I was on the internet and I found a bunch of really interesting things that I didn't know this year. One of the really big things I found out this year is that our Milky Way galaxy is going to collide with another galaxy. This galaxy is called Andromeda? Andromeda? Sure, I guess it's how you pronounce it, I don't know. Apparently we are going to collide with this galaxy. You know, it's gonna like boom and blah. It's gonna be a big mass, it's gonna get all crazy, whatever. However, it's not going to happen for another 4 billion years, so I think we have some time to get ready. This thing is 2.5 light years away, okay? That is pretty freaking far. That is so far. That is so far that your mom can't even see it. That's crazy. It's going to take 4 billion years to get here. Well, technically, to pass us. And after it passes, it's going to take another 2 billion years to come back. And do like this whole rotation and eventually come together. Apparently our solar system will not be affected by this collision. Now I know they're pretty accurate when it comes to like measurements and all this stuff in space, but how can you guarantee that? Our galaxy and this galaxy will collide and our solar system just be untouched. I mean how you know some crazy planet is gonna come and like smack into something really important and like send us flying. That's if we're there. I mean I don't know if we're gonna be there. We're probably gonna be dead. We're probably gonna kill each other, kill ourselves or the sun will kill us. Because that's, the sun is most likely the thing that will destroy us, besides ourselves. Now something that is going to happen much sooner than that is an asteroid coming between the moon and the earth. Like passing, whoosh. I don't know if it's like exactly between, you know, the moon and the earth are just right and it comes right in between, I don't know, like that. This thing is going to come 140,000 feet from the earth. Okay, that's crazy close. I mean, the moon is only 240,000. What if this thing just like comes close enough to like nick the Earth? You know, just barely hit it. Because it's 120 feet wide, which is crazy wide. You know, and it's like, what if it just like tapped the Earth, like send it spinning up? This thing is called Asteroid 2012 XC54. That's their name for it. I want to know like how they come up with these names. Because, I mean, you got to come up with something easy that's easy to remember. So, I mean, I guess that's fine. But, I mean, if they asked me, I'd call it like... Asteroidopia. I don't know. It's just, you know, you think they'd come up with something more creative. Now this last fact doesn't exactly involve space, but it does involve time. Up in the Argentinian volcano, there was a 15-year-old Incan girl found. This Incan group or religion or whatever would sacrifice their children to their gods. And you know, in today's standards, that sounds insane, but like back then, obviously it was normal. What would you do if you were like that kid that got chosen? Hey, by the way, kid, you're gonna die. We're gonna put you up in a volcano and we're gonna drug you and you're gonna die. I also would flip out. I would run away. I'd run away, I'd jump off a cliff or do something else, but die slowly in a volcano. Sounds great. Yeah, apparently this kind of stuff happened all the time. And they wouldn't just pick any kid. It had to be the most beautiful kid of them all. The most perfect. This was 500 years ago. But this girl was found and she was so well preserved from being frozen and so isolated in this volcano that doctors say it looks like she died a week ago. 500 years is a long time to just sit there and rot, basically. Which is really crazy because this corpse didn't rot at all. Her tomb was so tight and so airtight that no bacteria got in, no animals got in, and it just sat there in dormant waiting in time to be discovered today. So she sat there for 500 years. And there are many more mummies of this type of group. Most of them are not nearly well as preserved as this one, but I mean, they're pretty well preserved. Yeah guys, that was a vlog for today. I'm sorry it took so long. I will try not to let that happen again. But like I said, I got very busy. So yeah, if you guys have any uh, requests, go ahead and message me, do whatever. If you just wanna watch me, then watch me and don't complain. And I will talk to you guys later, so have a great day.